Hey guys, this is Lucas Review Channel and I will be reviewing the PS3 wireless keypad from Sony and I will teach you how to connect your keypad to your PS3. Unfortunately, the keypad doesn't come with a USB cable, so you will need to use your USB cable of your controller, provided that you got one from your PS3 purchase. Otherwise, you can use any type of Type A Mini B USB cable to pair your keypad to your PS3. To attach the keypad onto your PS3 controller, you will need to open the clamp and place it over your controller pad and press it down, and there you have it. It attaches very easily, and I like the fact that it sits firmly on the controller, that it doesn't wobble or jiggle if you move your controller around. The keypad has its own battery, so it doesn't take the power or the battery from your controller. To pair your keypad to the PS3, simply connect the keypad and the PS3 with the USB cable. So one end goes to your keypad, and the other end goes to your PS3 like so. And make sure your PS3 is already turned on. The next step is to turn on the keypad by sliding power switch to on. So just like that, your keypad is now paired with your PS3 and you can use it right away. So let's put it to the test, shall we? So I'm just gonna go to the PlayStation Store and search for something using the keypad. As you can see, I am typing down the letters with my keypad as we speak. And it works great, no lag whatsoever and it works pretty much like a keyboard should. And if you're wondering why the LED lights keep flashing, don't worry. The status indicator, the caps lock, and the touchpad indicator will all flash while charging. They will stop flashing when the charging is complete. It also doesn't get in the way as you can easily access every buttons on your controller like you normally do. So don't worry about having it on your controller while playing your favorite game. When typing, I find myself having to move my hands up a bit to reach the farther up keys, although it doesn't really bother me that much. If you activated the touchpad mode, you can use your keypad like a mouse for cursor control in the browser. You can also find two shoulder buttons on the keypad. One is blue button and the other one is orange. One of many uses of the blue shoulder button is that you can use it to type in special characters marked with blue on your keypad. Just hold the blue button and the, and the key at the same time. The same thing goes to your orange shoulder button. To unattach your keypad from your controller is just as easy as attaching it. Go to the back side of your controller, open a clamp and just pull it up. So that's it guys, I hope this review is helpful and thank you for watching.